Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look. Up. Just up there. Listen to us. That's it. She Shall we tell her where to go? Hmm. Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl. Oh, isn't she? Look. So clever. Did you miss us? Oh, she did. She did. There's a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Senua. Go away. I'm not listening. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. Don't go in. Don't go back. Don't go back. What's it? Get back. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step in. into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Useless here. to do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. So he's gone now. They always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, they want me with them. Stop! 
That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you to them. see them? Do you see their faces? It's coming. Senor, help me. Help, get me out of here. Don't go. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zen Bell. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? She'll have to go under. She can't. She has to. She can't. The torch will go out. Don't. Let's the torch go out. There's light in here. She has to control the door. She can't do it. Go. The light's gone out. Run. Run. Get through it as quick as you can.
She has it. She did it. She's done it. Well, this place it reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night, the faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zimbel, could see the monster in her. Rain the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rain go in search of Fafnir. The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure.
lighting the torch. <laughs> it's not gonna help her. She's lighting the I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find doing. Mm-hmm. 
she would not be doing his best. She never, ever He was trying to save her from the darkness. Zimbel was right. Zimbel was trying to save her from the darkness. But she wouldn't be And now everybody is dead because of her. It's all her fault. All her fault. So weak. She should have known. She should have thought. Why doesn't she learn? She Maybe she learns. Although Sigurd craves the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. The darkness, deep, deep down. The beast has the head. She will be trapped. The beast has the head and is amazing. Once she gets down there, she'll never come out. It's luring her down. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. Deeper and deeper. The beast knows. The beast knows exactly where she is. She's falling for it. She turns for their tricks every time. Plays into his hands. The lights run out. Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak, and they say Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafnir's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rian, eats Fafnir's roasted heart, and takes Fafnir's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. What's she doing? She's lighting the fire. She's making light. She's making a fire. She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. Faster, faster. Keep going. Keep going. What Stop. is she doing? Stop. Stop. Let's keep going. Now she can go. Stop. 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 Oh, no. 
help but think of him. A tender guide in flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Go down, go down, go down. She has to. Sigurd learns that Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin, and so he had her punished, stuck her with a sleep thorn, and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless, and passes through the flames, just as I did, and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and help, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell.
People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force. And so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand. Cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals. Kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. But... Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time, she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. But without it, I fear you would have left those slack. All this time, I've wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. And take me to the master to trust you. As deep as we can go. No. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. 